Jeff Hansen. Good evening. Thank you for letting us speak. Uh, I've lived here since 1960. Uh, when I was a kid living in Stratton Meadows, we used to ride our bicycles down to Dorchester Park and play football. Um, there is no way in hell I would let my kids go anywhere near Dorchester Park these days or ride their bikes because they'd have to go along the trail. It is unsafe. It is a public safety issue. Um, we used to do that when they were younger, a lot younger. The problem wasn't as bad. It got to the point where we would not go on the trail anymore because of what's going on down there. Uh, I camp. I clean up after myself. There's no reason, no matter where you're camping, that you can't clean up after yourself. These folks do not. And if you've been down there, you know that that is true. As I understand, there's already a law that we have that is against camping correctly, but it's not enforced. So if we do this, great. But if you don't enforce it, if there's no consequences, nothing happens. There are no consequences now for breaking the law or doing something against the ordinance. So please pass the ordinance, but enforce it. That's my point. Thank you very much. Great, Jeff. Thank you. And, and uh, just as a point of information, that you know, there, there's federal law, federal case law out there that says unless there's a replacement bed for people to go to, that you can't ban them from camping. And so that, that's one of the issues that we deal with now. We can ban them from camping in parks. We, we may be able to ban them from camping along waterways. Uh, certainly uh, there, there's, there's other places where it's illegal, but uh, public right-of-ways like underneath high, you know, uh, highway interpasses and, and those sorts of places, uh, unless you have a replacement bed for them. Uh, we can't really tell them not to camp. And so that, that, that's a part of the problem here. But uh, did you want to respond to that briefly? Yeah. Not, there is a law against littering, is there not? Yeah, is that, there is. And, and there's a law against, uh, yeah. And, and um, yeah. And so that, that's, there's lots of other laws out there. Um, there are not enforced. Leanne Jackson, yes. Uh, Leanne Jackson? Oh, I'm sorry, you're passing. Okay, uh, Ryan Jones. Hello, my name is Ryan Jones, and I support the proposed ordinance to ban camping with, within 100 feet of the city waterways. Um, I've walked the Pikes Peak Greenway Trail several times and have witnessed people on multiple occasions uh, bathing within the creek as well as seeing it littered with shopping carts and trash. Allowing camps near the waterways will allow the wind to aid the spread of trash uh, into the lowest point, which is where it ends up. The city, I believe, must simply defend its interest by making a reasonable determination to prevent certain acts in particular places. I don't believe this has to do necessarily with affordable housing, um, but uh, dis even though that's what the ACLU and local organizations say, um, if you want to camp on public property when shelters are full, okay, you can, but you just can't do it near waterways for public safety. Same reason you can't camp on a sidewalk for uh, as it's a public right of way but the important piece of this ordinance is that it will allow the homeless outreach team to enforce near the waterways at any given time regardless of shelter availability so while i do support it i think we should be aware that the homeless outreach team is understaffed uh, because there are ordinances on the books such as prohibited camping in city parks 24 7 just like dorchester park like he was saying um I did see some enforcement there finally a couple of weeks ago after I brought attention to it. But the city should be aware that without an adequate force to actually enforce what we're talking about, it mostly defeats the purpose. But I am on board uh, for the city to do what it can do to help keep our creeks clean. Um, regarding where people will go, there still is plenty of space near the trail that is still beyond 100 feet from the creek. However, as Andy Phelps said uh, last night, I believe you said the shelters were not full. Um, so again, how many public campers on public property were cited? 
probably zero. Um, so again, everything's kind of useless unless, unless things are enforced. Um, regarding no evidence campers caused E. coli in the streams, I don't believe E. coli is the uh, threshold that has to be proven in court for a ban like this. Uh, we do have evidence of nearby trash blowing into the creek as well as people bathing in it. I believe that alone is enough merit to uh, meet a reasonable standard. And uh, at the beginning, Richard here um, gave great evidence as to defending how that 100-foot threshold came about. Um, regarding affordable housing, I've, I've said this before, Pueblo has the, some of the cheapest housing in the state, yet three times the number of homeless per capita. So I, I don't know if somebody could answer that at some point. But I do support the ordinance, uh, but I hope it can be enforced. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Ryan.